So this is now set up to be latexed. Normally when I've done Daldevere panels, I have put grit in the bottom and then poured the epoxy on top. The grit then is on the outside of the panel when um, you are seeing it in situ. This one's not going to have any grit on the outside, it's just going to have the epoxy showing. So as a barrier between the mould and the epoxy, I'm going to use latex, which can then be peeled off afterwards. So I'm simply going to paint the latex in. I want it to be into the corners where there's a join in the plastic. I don't want it to be too thick but I'd like to be able to see where the glass is going to go so that my pattern, my cartoon is still just about visible. So to aid that I actually made the lines on it thicker and heavier so that it shows up through the latex. But I don't want the latex to be too thin because I want it to peel off easily. So it's finding that happy medium between latex that'll come off as one skin and being able to see through it so you can put the glass in the right place. So now all the pieces of dowel have been backed with latex and sat into place. Now we'll let the latex dry and harden and then we can add the epoxy. So now we have this ready to take the resin. You can probably see down there in between the dowels, now that the latex has dried, the lines underneath on the pattern are very clear. So it might be that when you come to do this, you let the latex in the bottom dry out first, and then you stick the dowels on top of it. So you get a really good idea of where the pieces should be. But I think I've been pretty good with getting mine in place, and I am happy with how it's laid out. I've also put some little blocks under here because you have to ensure that this is completely level so that when you put the epoxy in it doesn't all float to one side but it's even everywhere. So now I'm going to mix up the epoxy resin. I use a three-part resin which has two liquid parts to it, one of which has a colour put into it which tends to separate out so I tend to mix that first before adding the catalyst and then there's a Portland cement bit that makes it go nice and solid. It still stays runny while it's being poured but it adds to the actual uh, effectiveness of the epoxy. I then use piping bags, disposable ones, to pipe the mixed epoxy into the uh, in between the dowels. And don't forget rubber gloves, you don't want this all over your hands and I tend to use a battery powered drill with an attachment like that to mix this all up. So it makes it fairly well, it doesn't get too many bubbles actually in the mix. And if you do get bubbles in the mix, 
let the epoxy degas, it will degas by itself, just for a minute or two before you start pouring it. So let's make it up. Okay, so here we go. I'm now going to squeeze in the resin. So I'm basically just manipulating the end of the piping bag with my thumb and finger so I can get it down into the gaps without getting it over the upper part or the top of the dowel. This is a nice runny mixture. It sets what well, start setting in about 15 minutes which you started using it so you have to move fairly rapidly as so you try not to drip it on the bits you don't want resin to be on it's kind of fairly self leveling just keep going round until you've got your either empty bag in your hand or you have filled your dowels to the level that you want or rather should say fill the gap around the dowels to the level that you want. If you do get any over the top of the dowels there is a chemical that comes with this epoxy which you can use to remove any of the still wet epoxy from any area you wish to remove it. Do ensure that you have got epoxy everywhere. Don't rely on it flooding completely in between all of the dowels because obviously it is starting to set while you're doing this. So you really need to make sure that you have got it everywhere you want it before you stop pouring. I can have a quick look. I can see it'll need some more down here. Yep, and I think we're good to go. Okay, so I've taken these screws out of the board. I'm going to take the MDF off around it. And now we're left with this. So let's try and pull the plastic off. Now see if we can get it off with the latex coming apart from the plastic sheet underneath. And this is really stuck on hard. This is interesting to know because with a bigger panel to get it off. Ah, so there's the latex. Actually, it's still sticky in places. That's really interesting. So you can be a lot thinner. So now I'm going to peel all the latex off the back of here and we'll clean it up and we'll see what it looks like when it's properly finished. So here we are, all cleaned up on the back and uh, ready to be used. So there you can see it. There's the light coming in through that side, which is the outside traditionally you're looking at. And if you're inside the building, that's what you normally get. There's obviously going to be a, a parking sign with an arrow in it, so it'll be outside. So the light coming through it either way should work. Cool, let's move on to the next thing now.